What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. I'm also back here on YouTube. Today I am going to be doing my picks for the Foxwoods Resorts Casino 301 this weekend here at New Hampshire. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into the video. So, how I do this for any of you new fans, I kind of do it similar to NASCAR Weekly Podcast. I do a suck pick, an underdog pick, and a winner's pick. But I'm also going to be doing a watch out picks for the winner's pick as well. Drivers who I think could honestly challenge this driver for the race win here at New Hampshire. But first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the weather for this race. Weather does not look completely promising at the moment. There currently right now is a 40% chance of rain on the day of Sunday. It is supposed to rain about the time the race starts. However, this could change and the weather is very unpredictable. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully the weather does get better and hopefully we get the race in on time and not have another freaking rain delay. Because to be honest with you, I'm tired of rain delays in 2020 because we've had so many races. A couple of, last couple of races have been good, but we've had a lot of rain delays. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to the pick. So who is going to suck? My suck pick has really been very underwhelming this year. I do believe this will be this driver's final year in the Cup Series. He's only had one really strong run this year. He only has two top fives in 2020 and five top ten finishes. He's having one of his worst seasons in a long time. Clint Boyer is my suck pick. Clint Boyer, I don't trust in my opinion. I just He had a really bad race going at Kansas, finished 24th there. Granted, he did come back and finish 14th, but that was because a lot of the field ended up wrecking. Clint Boyer, in my honest opinion, I just don't feel confident about. I think he will suck here at New Hampshire. I don't think he's going to run 30th or anything, but I think he's going to run at least no better than 15th. I think he's for a team he's been running, he should be running better than that, in my honest opinion. Now to the underdog pick. My underdog pick, finished in the top five year last year with Levine Family Racing, and also, unfortunately, was involved in one of the crashes. I mean, having, honestly, a pretty good run at Kansas. I think he's running in the top ten around there before he crashed. And in Texas, he kind of caught a bad break with Quinn Half. We all know what happened there. Yeah, and I think that Matt Benedetto is going to be your underdog for this race. Matt Benedetto ran here really well last time, got a top five with a team that really wasn't up to speed. I don't think at this point they had gotten the resources for Levi Family Racing. I think Matt Benedetto can honestly get another top five finish because the problem with the Benedetto is he's been too consistent this year. I think he's had a bad, couple bad races recently. I think that he will come back here strong and have a very pretty, a really strong run, especially since Penske is pretty good here at this race track. The Benedetto is your underdog pick for this race. And now we get into the winner's pick for this race. My winner's pick is going to have some challenges, of course. The drivers that I think you're going to have to watch out for are going to be Denny Hamlin. I think Denny Hamlin is going to be really, really strong in this race. He's going to be contending against this guy for the win once again. Mark Trex Jr., I think he has, he's never won a race here, but I think that he will get on a pretty good run. I think actually Chase Elliott will have some speed in this race. And I think Eric Amarola is going to put a, together a pretty strong run here at New Hampshire. Those are guys to watch out for. Also Kyle Busch as well. I think Kyle Busch is actually going to have another pretty solid run here. He, probably, he should have had a top five finish at Kansas, but he had a tire go down. But now the winner's pick, he's won here the last two times, Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick's won the last two races here. It should be no surprise. He's been one of the best drivers this year. In fact, I think he's arguably been the best driver of 2020. Hamill's been right there with Harvick this year. They've really been close together, but Hamill, I just don't trust. Right now, for me, Kevin Harvick is the favorite to win the championship, and the fact that he's been heating up at the right moments, he's been hot all year. He's not been be able to be stopped, really. Seems like every time we get to a finish in these races, Kevin Harvick is right there to go get the win. Kevin Harvick is going to go three in a row. I think Kevin Harvick gets his third straight win here at New Hampshire International Speedway. So anyway, those are my picks for the Fox Woods Resorts Casino 301. Now to give you an update on the channel. And yes, I am officially back here on YouTube. So hi, guys. I know I've been gone for a few days. Apologies for the long wait. Um, I'm going to have a, a video updating on all the NASCAR news. That there hasn't, that's basically been released since last Sunday. There is a lot of stuff. Probably going to be the longest video ever on my channel. I know I've said this in the past, but I do think that tomorrow's video is going to be, it's going to be at least a 25, 30 minute video. So if you're on my channel and you're new, check that video out as well. And also, thank you guys for watching today's video.
please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links in the description below for that. Comment your thoughts on your picks for the race. Who do you think is going to suck? Who do you think is the underdog? And who do you think is going to win the race? Let me know in the comments below. So anyway, I'm really happy to be back, guys. Thank you guys for watching once again. And I'll see you guys next time for another video. Take care, everybody.